Let's get to ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton, who was with us there as well on that trim trail. She's there at home for us, though, tracking all of today's major developments, and we appreciate that as always, Jen. The CDC warning, unfortunately, another 20,000 COVID deaths are possible by Election Day. So let's take a look at the latest numbers coming out of Johns Hopkins University. More than 36.5 million cases confirmed worldwide, 7.6 million and counting here in the U.S., and now more than 212,000 American lives lost. And Doc, let's get you in here as we're seeing cases trend up in many parts of the country. We're starting to see some ripple effects, I guess, throughout the health care system. And we're talking about people with cancer now, especially being impacted. What are we talking about here? Exactly, TJ. This is obviously a very vulnerable population, and there's a new report out of Harvard Medical School and Dana-Farber in Boston breaking down the four aspects of cancer care. So let's take a look at it. First of all, the biology of cancer and COVID-19, what we know at this point, both can have an effect on the immune system and weaken the immune system. Then there are changes in patient care, routine screenings estimated down by 85 to 90 percent for, for cancer screening. The effects on cancer research, you guys, take a look at these numbers. The American Cancer Society expected to see a $200 million decrease this year in donations. Um, and sadly, they are also estimating an increase in future cancer-associated deaths five years from now by anywhere from 4 to 17 percent. So the potential impacts here are significant. Yeah, staggering, because if you're not getting screened, you're not getting diagnosed, and the earlier you treat cancer, the better chance you have at surviving it. So, Jen, what does someone do if they have just been diagnosed or is concerned about going for that screening test? Well, this is so important, Amy. Uh, I spoke to the head of solid tumor oncology at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York, and he emphasized to me at this point, do not delay screenings like prostate cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer screenings, and do not delay treatments. They are really aggressively trying to cocoon and protect this population so that those treatments can continue. Yeah, it is so important, as you and I both know, Dr. Jen. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.